two, one, drop. One, two, and a half. So 2.5. So in here, so on your paper for your original time, trial number one, we're gonna write 2.5 seconds. And then we're gonna do it again. Two, one, drop. One, two, three. So three seconds. Three, two, one, drop. One, two, three. Okay, so for our, or for our trials, we got 2.5 seconds, 3 seconds, 3 seconds, 3 seconds, and 3 seconds. To find the average, you're going to need to do 2.5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. Hold, please. That's going to be 14.5 seconds. And then you need to divide that by 5 because we did 5 trials, and that's going to give us our average. All right, that's going to be, our average is going to be 0 0.5 seconds. Now, what we're going to do is cut two centimeters off of those rotors, yes. And two. Now we're going to do the five trials again. Three, two, one, drop. One, two, two. Okay, so for all five trials, we had two seconds. So two seconds, two seconds, two seconds, two seconds, and two seconds. So add them all up, which is ten. And 10 divided by 5 is 2, so our average is 2 seconds. Cut again? Yes. Now we're going to cut 2 more centimeters off, or to the second line that we drew. And then we're going to try the 5 trials one more time. Alright. 3, 2, 1, drop. 1, 2. Okay, for the 5 trials we got 2 seconds, 2 seconds, 1.5 seconds, 2 seconds, and 2 seconds. And after adding up the average and, or adding them all up and dividing by five to find the average, we get 1.9 seconds. Hold please. No, so we can see for our average, the average starts out at only 0.5 seconds and then it got a little bigger and then it's pretty much the same. So what is our independent variable? The length of the row length of the rotors, and then what is our dependent variable? How or, fast the, what you call it, touches the... Helicopter, yes. Yeah.